<laughs> yeah, baby Raheem Sterling, come on, let's go! All right, all right, all right, here we go, back again on the other side of the coin. Welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking news. Raheem Sterling has agreed personal terms with Chelsea and a fee could be done in 24 hours. You guys all wanted to know what's going on with Raheem Sterling. I myself wanted to know what was happening, but I was confident this was going to happen. And looks like, hopefully, this is a here we go within the next 24 hours. And this particular player will be going to the preseason tour to USA. I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this scenario. Raheem Sterling is 27. He's banged in goals after goals after goals in Man City. Yes, in the last couple of seasons, his stats probably hasn't been as great as the two seasons prior to that. But still, nonetheless, last two seasons, he's still been very good. I think, what, 26 or 27 goal contribution, more than, what, 12, 11 goals or 12, 13 goals per season, assists as well. This guy is dynamic. This guy is robust. He's exactly what Thomas Tuchel wants. 1v1, not scared to take the players on, not scared to take the defenders on, really create chaos up front, can shoot from outside the box, can be a fox in the box as well. Yes, at times there will be some misses, but who doesn't miss, right? But at the end of the day, the technicality of this player, movement is great. The pace is great. I mean, I'm glad we've got this particular player. We needed a revamp up front. There is no doubt about the fact that we needed a revamp. And this is the right player to do so. Look, we're going to get to the finer details of this particular matter. 45 million plus add-ons is what was agreed, uh, apparently, with Manchester City. 300k plus per week wages. We'll talk a little bit about that. Let's look at some of the latest that's gone around on this particular news. First of all, Fabrizio Roman, look, the news was broken by Matt Law um, uh, in regards to this, and I think David Onsen as well. Those are, those are the guys that generally break the Chelsea news, but this is, we'll start from Fabrizio Romano. Raheem Sterling accepted Chelsea as future destination weeks ago after direct talks with Tuchel and personal terms fully agreed. He'll be among best paid players. Chelsea and City set to agree final fee around 45 million and then it will be completed. I oh, love this. I love this game. Let's go. We needed some activity. And what better to, way to do this with a blockbuster signing like Raheem Sterling? Breaking, uh, as we said, within the next 24 hours. This is from Matt Law. And it further goes on to say Sterling will be on 300k a week. Just a tad more. Apparently, he's already on that. Um, and it might be a, just a bit more than 300k. This is what I read from the Matt Law article. Um, look, let's talk a little bit about, about this wages because some fans are a little bit perturbed, a bit peeved off by this. The way I look at it is, yes, it, it is a concern when you have <clears throat> when you have a player like Raheem Sterling. And my only concern with Raheem Sterling is, yes, he's 27, and yes, he's in his prime, but I've been saying he's started football a long time ago. He started when he was 16, 17. So his prime might have been well before what it is now, I feel like. It may not be his prime, prime years at the moment. However, we could still get potentially two, three years of good service from Raheem Sterling, and motivation plays a big factor. He wanted to come back to London. Apparently, his mum lives in London, and he wants to wanted to be closer to family. So motivation could kick in, and we could start seeing him perform even better than what he was doing for the past couple of seasons in Man City. You also have to understand. Man City last couple of seasons did not have a particular striker. At times, he played as a false nine. That might have hampered the situation. He's, there was no way he was going to take a pay cut to come to um, you know, Chelsea. Even though I sort of said, hey, maybe you need to negotiate. We're doing something for you. You've got to do something for us. But look, when you're paying players like Timo Werner, 272K, Romelu Lukaku, 325K, it's very difficult to deny a particular player that actually deserves it. Raheem Sterling is absolutely a damn good player. Has won everything in the Premier League from the domestic side of things. Has won everything. Champions League is the only thing that eludes, um, you know, Raheem Sterling. He probably deserves that. He probably deserves that. And mind you, we are saving on Romelu Lukaku's wages. We don't have to pay a penny to Romelu Lukaku. So look, from that perspective. I'm okay. I suppose I'm getting around being okay with it. Is there a little bit of a concern? Yes. When you lock in a player, potentially it's going to be a five-year deal. I think I'm pretty sure it'll be a five-year deal. Um, 
on 300K a week. You just wonder, he's 27, what's going to happen when he's 30 plus and so on and so forth. Is there going to be a resale value as well for Raheem Sterling? Maybe there will be. Maybe even at the age of 30, if he continues with the great form, maybe there could be a resale value. So 300K, let me know, you guys, ladies and gentlemen, how you feel about the 300K. Raheem Sterling was impressed by Tuchel's plans and ambitions for him during talks. He also attracted interest from Real Madrid, among other clubs, but has been swung by Chelsea's strong desire, both publicly and privately. I'm, I'm glad um, Thomas Tuchel got on the phone and spoke to him directly about the plans. Uh, these players, at the end of the day, they don't just want to come to a club just to waste time. Obviously, they want to you know, add on to their plethora of you know, titles and medals that they've won. BBC Sport understands Sterling was swayed by Chelsea over Bayern Munich, Real Madrid and Barcelona. And this is the thing I was sort of asking earlier on when this rumour started. What would be the motivation for Raheem Sterling to come to Chelsea Football Club? He's pretty much done everything in, in Premier League. But one of the biggest factors was the family situation. I completely understand. You know, I've done stuff uh, in my career for family as well. So I completely get why one would move. So from that perspective, because I was thinking next best move for Raheem Sterling would be you know, abroad, you know, someone like Real Madrid, someone like uh, Bayern Munich. But he's, he's, uh, he's ignored those opportunities and wanted to take the, uh, take the chance with Chelsea Football Club. Sterling fee, 45 million plus add-ons. Um, and let's talk a little bit about the fee. I think that's decent. Uh, you know, we were hearing stuff about 60 million or 55 million to 65, 60 million in the beginning. And I was sort of thinking, you know, one year left in the contract. That's a hefty amount of fee, but 45 million plus add-ons, look, that's probably okay. At the end of the day, 45 million is the is the real fee. And then there's add-ons based on, you know, whatever bonuses and, and, and whatever numbers he hits. And if he does that and we do well, then that's fine. Look, I'm okay with this particular fee. Um, he is still, he's, you know, in the Euros that just finished last year, I believe, or the year before, he was England's best player. He's, he's definitely one of England's number one players out there. So you're going to pay a premium amount. Him being English as well, of course, uh, there's going to be an amount there. Look, I'm quite okay with the 45 million. This is what I expected, somewhere around 40 to 45 anyway. But you let me know, guys, how you feel about that particular scenario. Chelsea are down to the final details of a 45 million move for Raheem Sterling with the attacker expected to go on pre-season tour to the United States. This was very important to me. We need our new players to be able to go to preseason, gel with the team, understand the tactics that Thomas Tuchel is going to work on. Because the first game is less than a month away against Everton, and we want to. I, I want to see Raheem Sterling start for Chelsea Football Club against Everton. I want him to start. I want him to bang in goals. I want him to be a key factor for us to get those three points. Um, and the second game is Spurs. So, you know, the quicker these players can go and join the preseason, the better it is for us. And and. Having a preseason under your belt is extremely important to hopefully the success down the line. While Raheem Sterling is comfortable with terms and excited about a move back to London with the club, Matthias De Ligt is understood to currently prefer a move to Germany with the Bundesliga champions. De Ligt remains open to Chelsea. Now let's talk a little bit about De Ligt. This is the next big thing. Look, Raheem Sterling, guys, stay calm, stay patient, stay absolutely cool about it. It will happen now within the next 24 hours, max 48 hours, because we will be flying out for the U.S. tour soon. So big celebration coming up. Cheer yourself up. Cheer yourself up. Let's talk about this De Ligt situation. Apparently, he wants to go to Bundesliga, but there's other sources saying that he would prefer Premier League as well. Um, Chelsea will launch shortly between 80 to 90 million for De Ligt. Juventus would ideally want it to be done this week. I think money is what's going to knock Bayern Munich out. This is between 68 to 75 million pounds, just in case you don't know uh, how much the 80 million uh, to 90 million euros is. Look, I hope we just get this done. Let's just go and get this done. We need defenders. We badly need defenders. I don't think this is an area where we can penny pinch. We could probably penny pinch elsewhere. He is what we need. We've got a gaping hole with no Rudiger, with no Christensen, and maybe other defenders possibly going as well. We need to fill these positions up ASAP. And here's another player that I would love to see in the preseason. And on top of that, you know, Thomas Tuchel seems to fancy this guy more than Kunde. So let's get what Thomas Tuchel wants. Uh, I've been advocating, even though I've got my reservations on certain players, but at the end of the day, if he wants it, give it to him. That's why, uh, you know, I've, I've got 
different feelings towards Nathan AK, but Thomas Tuchel fancies him. Let's do it. Similar with the league. Let's do the job. Let's not entice real in Bayern Munich into this conversation um, and let's make this happen. Juventus and Kalidou uh, Koulibaly are in a meeting. The lead gone soon, so they're possibly looking for a replacement for um, the league. Bayern Munich have offered 75 million euros plus bonuses for the league. Juventus are waiting for Chelsea's bid. Chelsea, what are you waiting for? Let's just go out there and get this job done ASAP. Let's not muck about uh, on this. Juventus briefing the media to make Chelsea hurry up or have Bayern actually bid this. I guess we'll find out on this what PYS is saying. Look, yeah, let, let's just let's just let's just get this uh, up and running in regards to the league. He could play. I, I picture him playing in the center of the three CB. If we continue with the three CB, if we go with a four, he'll probably be the left left sided CB. He could possibly play as an LCB as well in a back three. Um, but yes, he hasn't had the greatest time in Juventus, but it's not been an absolute flop either. It's just not been the greatest from the highs that he's had at Ajax, but. I believe if he comes to Chelsea Football Club, he'll probably get back those Ajax days back um, because that's how Thomas Tuchel probably will deploy him as more of a sweeper in the back and his ball distribution from the back will be very important. It's very comfortable um, with the ball, as we know, playing in Ajax. Okay, let's talk about some other news. We we did a unbelievable live stream earlier on today. Over 500 people <clears throat> were live and... Earlier on uh, in Chelsea uh, community, this particular news broke about Matthias Nunez. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Some feel a bit strange. Some are very excited. Check out the live stream that we uh, that we did less than uh, 12 hours ago. And it goes something like this. Chelsea are monitoring developments around Frankie de Jong and have their eye on Matthias Nunez. We're still monitoring on Frankie de Jong. I find that really, really strange. I mean, how is Man United not being able to do this, you know, finalise this situation as yet? Barcelona president Laporta has come out and said Frankie's not up for sale. So it's interesting to see what's going on. And it's interesting that we're looking at players like Frankie de Jong, Matthias Nunez. Matthias Nunez is a absolute, if you watch him, seriously, I watched the Man City game in the Champions League. I took my time to watch that entire game. He reminds me of Kovacic from the get-go. And, you know, he's got a lot of grit. He's got tenacity. He's got great eye for a pass. Um, you know, his technicality is very good, good in tight spaces. So I can understand why we're getting excited. And this is from Jacob Steinberg. So this is no joke. So Chelsea are monitoring developments around Frankie de Jong and have their eye on Matthias Nunez. However, Chelsea have not made any move for Nunez. So let's see. George Mendes is uh, uh, Matthias Nunez's uh, agent and Todd Bolli has met George Mendes in recent times. So... We have to talk about Cristiano Ronaldo before we wrap things up. Another one of George Mendes's um, clients. And this one, look, I, I, I really think this could possibly happen to Chelsea Football Club. There is no other club out there that are willing to take Cristiano Ronaldo. And on top of that, Cristiano Ronaldo simply doesn't want to be at Man United. That's my feeling. People are saying maybe Bayern Munich, but this is what Oliver Kahn had to say about this. Bayern director Oliver Kahn, Again, on Cristiano Ronaldo, as much as I appreciate Cristiano as one of the greatest players, a move would not fit in our philosophy, tells Fra uh, Frankie, uh, Frankie Lish, Linkish, um, FC Bayern. Mendes discussed with Bayern of Ronaldo, but answer is still the same. So um, there goes Bayern Munich at the door. Cristiano Ronaldo was absent from Manchester United training for the third straight day. United still don't know if he plans to join the club's preseason tour. Uh, look, if he's not there for the tour, uh, I think I think he's seriously looking for a way out. I still think he's seriously looking for a way out as well. ESPN FC, Cristiano Ronaldo last season. For all the brothers that doubt this guy, most Premier League um, Player of the Match awards, most most Premier League Player of the Match awards. That's incredible and such a rubbish Man United team. Most uh, Man United Player of the Match awards, Man United Player of the Year. Man United's top scorer, Man United's goal of the season, included in Premier League Team of the Year. I mean, at the age of 37, guys, it's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. Check out the tactical show I did with Ryan uh, a couple of videos ago. It, it's it's not as bad as you guys think, oh, he can't press this, that, the other. Just check that out. I, I would advocate for a year short-term loan or a purchase, 
I think Top Bowley financially can do this as well. So I've got no issues with this. As of today, there has been no proposal from Chelsea for Cristiano Ronaldo. They are focusing on other targets. George Mendes will try with Chelsea again, but everything needs to be approved by Thomas Tuchel. At the end of the day, everything needs to be approved by Thomas Tuchel. No doubt about that. Fabrizio Romano on YouTube. As I said, watch this space. This could possibly happen. We are the standout club for him. But everything today is in regards to this particular player, ladies and gentlemen, Raheem Sterling. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Let me know what your thoughts are. Hopefully, guys, are here we go coming up. Let's do this. Smash the like button if you've enjoyed this. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. I shall see you guys for another live tomorrow. The live is going to be cracking. Let's go.